Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and uh, guys today I'm going to teach you how to work with custom cursors in your HTML document, okay? Guys, I want to show you something out here. Uh, let me show you a preview on Google Chrome, okay? This is a div or a division guys and when I mouse inside the div, if I'm inside the bounds of the div guys you can actually see that the pointer is not the default Windows pointer. It looks slightly different because I've, I'm actually using my own custom uh, cursor. Okay, so this tutorial is all about cursors, playing around with cursors, guys, and creating your own uh, custom cursor. Let's see how we can actually do that. Cool. Uh, guys, what I'm going to do is, let me go back to my local site folder. <coughs> Beg your pardon. Let me delete all the files out here. And even in the images folder, I have a cursor file. Let me delete that too. Okay. Now my site is completely empty and the images folder that it has is empty as well. I'm gonna start from the very beginning. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna say create new HTML. Okay, file. Let me convert the doc type to a HTML5, the latest. Let me save it up. Okay, I'm gonna call it, let's say, custom cursor. Cool. Let me save it. Okay, let me <coughs> give it a title. Let me say custom cursor. That's custom cursor. Okay, let me save it again. Cool. Now let me highlight this area and let me collapse it. Beg your pardon. Let me highlight this area. Let me collapse it. Now whatever appears inside the opening of the body, you know, the, the closing body tags is actually what appears on your HTML document, guys. We all know that, don't we? Right. So guys, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a div or a division. That's an insert, layer objects, div tag. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give it an ID, let's say div1. I'm going to click on the new CSS tool button, guys. I'm going to create a different document to host an external style sheet. So I'm going to select not this document. I'm going to say new style sheet because if I say new, you know, this document, it means that we are going to create an internal style sheet. I'm not going to do that, guys. I'm going to create an external style sheet. Okay. You can have a look out here that the contextual selected is defaulting to ID, which is fine. I'm going to say, okay. And then I need to give the style sheet name. So let me call it my style sheet, obviously. Uh, then let me go to the box category. Let me give it a width of 400 along with the height of 400 as well, guys. Let me go to the background, you know, the background category. Let me give it a background color to easily identify the div. Okay. At the same time, guys, let me go to the extensions category. And for the cursor, let me go with, uh, let's await. And let me say, okay. And let me say, okay, once again. Okay, before I can actually test it, guys, let me remove the text inside the div. Okay, and uh, let me save things up. Okay, let me go to the my style sheet.css file. Okay, it says that for the pound sign div one, the rules are background color so and so, height 400, width 400, and the cursor has been set to weight. Okie dokie. Uh, let me clear certain panels right so the background color is a pound sign uh, 9f4 the cursor is weight the height is 400 the width is 400 let me take a preview in google chrome guys so as you can see when i you know mouse inside the div the cursor is set to a weight Right, right. -o. Okay, let me go back to Dreamweaver, guys. This time I'm going to change the weight to, let's say, something like, uh, we have an option called progress, guys, which is uh, this, okay? Pretty much the same as weight. Let me show it to you. Let me show it things up in Firefox this time. Okay, it's clearly just the same as weight. No difference, really. Uh, or was there a difference? Let me just check again. If I go to wait and let's take a preview in Firefox. Oh yes, uh, when I go to wait, I actually don't see the white pointer, which I was able to when I was in the progress. 
Let me go back again. Let me check progress. There you go. Okay, let's take a look. Yep, now I can actually see the, the uh, white mouse pointer too. So that's that subtle difference, right? And we have an option called pointer too. Let me type it out. If I go to pointer, okay, and let's take a preview now and let's say Google Chrome. After saving the changes, guys, you can actually see this is pointer, guys. So you can, can get that nice finger, you know, the finger, uh, which which gives you an indication that probably this is clickable, right? Let me close it up and let's see what other options we have. Something like a help is uh, self-explanatory. Let me check it up in uh, Firefox. <coughs> Beg your pardon. And this is how help looks like guys right so guys we have a lot of options out here that we can try uh, you, you can try yourself I mean there's, there's nothing much that I need to teach you out there okay but there's something that I would like to tell you I'm in the the my style sheet .css file guys and we can actually create and use custom shapes as cursors and let's see how we can actually do that guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this application which is real world cursor editor okay I found it to be really good to create cursors, custom cursors. Let me launch it, guys. Okay. This can be had from the internet absolutely free. Okay. I can see a section out here which says uh, donations. So maybe they just uh, thrive on donations. Okay. Let me say create then. And guys, you have uh, an option which says new mouse cursor. Here it says uh, cursor from image. So you can create cursors from images too. Okay. So let me try the first option which says new mouse cursor and out here it says uh, that the canvas size would be 32 pixels okay which is the default which is fine let me say create and guys I have an option out here which says uh, make arrow like shapes okay let me click on that and then we, we, we can create you know arrows of different uh, shapes sizes and uh, colors okay so I'm gonna go go with the arrow direction up left which is fine let me say the arrow head size uh, let me make it a little larger okay okay arrow tail size let me increase that too and uh, let's say the outline width increase that too let me change the colors too let me change this color to how about this color rather let's try this color let me change this color to uh, this color let's say or maybe a different color okay how about this nope how about uh, okay I'll settle for this guys so you can you can change the arrow head size you can change the arrow tail size and you can change the width uh, the outline width guys okay uh, right whatever okay so let me say okay and then guys uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this move button let me move the arrow somewhere in the middle of the canvas like this let me save it up now let me say a file and a save let's say save as okay let me go to my desktop let me take uh, save this file inside my local site folder inside the images folder and let me call it uh, let me call it my cursor dot cur file it's a static cursor file guys let me save it up okay let me close this application I'm done and the cursor file is inside my images folder which is great so what I'm gonna do is guys uh, this is the source code this is the style sheet code I'm gonna go to the style sheet code I'm gonna remove the help okay and I'm gonna say URL okay I'm gonna locate the URL this was the new file guys right and then I'm gonna say a comma and write default okay that's all you need to do you need to point to the cursor file that you had just created and then you need to put a comma and say default basically what you you're telling the viewer is that is that you want to use your cursor shape as the default okay and you need to put a semicolon out here and you're actually done so you you change the the cursor to your own default shape using the the application and let's uh, take a preview in Google Chrome guys after saving the changes let's see how things look like right now and there you can actually see that the shape we had created as a custom cursor 
actually uh, appears inside the div of the division. Okay, the moment I go out and you can see that it defaults to the Windows cursor. Lovely. Okay. And guys, there's one more application apart from the real world cursor editor that I would like to talk about and I really love it. And that's cursor FX and let's see what all it can do. Guys, it can change your cursor themes. Let's say I go with the, uh, and I especially like the gear one. I can select the gear one and I can click apply. Okay, and you can actually see that uh, it actually changes the cursor. Okay, so what's happened here is that you managed to change the Windows cursor actually. Okay, and looking pretty cool, guys. So if you love uh, custom cursors, you're gonna love this application called uh, Cursor FX. All right. Okay. So <laughs> see what's happened now is, guys, that the 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 cursor settings are still in place, but the moment I go outside the division, uh, it it defaults to the new cursor. Okay, so everything is in good health. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. I found it very interesting. And let me know your views. So I'll see you very soon with yet another Dreamweaver tutorial or could be Flash with Action Script 3. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye. Peace.